Hello everyone, welcome back to another review here on the channel, and today we're going to be taking a look at James Clino, The Violin Racer from Chorus 1. He appeared in the Morris period of the Star Race, but he did not speak, but he was one of the many background physical racers that fans grew to love. For his releases, he's, I would say he's probably one of the least released physical racers, because he was first released in the 36th gift card set, the Morris Speedway of the South, which is only given to Red Line Club members. Then in 2010, he got a rubber tire release and a light U tire launcher release. I also believe he was in a four pack earlier in earlier years, but he didn't. He wasn't really released again until 2016 in the Pista Cup series. Then took another three year break where he returned to 2019's Blue Desert Line. And he turned out to be one of the most expensive and rarest singles of that year until he got re-released in 2024, which is how I got my personal copy of James Cleano. And this is actually one of the cards that I actually got during my freshman year of college. And alongside, I believe, Fair Game, he was the last one I had to review. But enough of all that, let's take a look at this diecast now, shall we? As you can see, he has a very nice determined expression with the Vitaline logo on top of his hood with a white background accompanying it. it the, the slogan does say, for all the active cars, which is pretty nice. Mine does have a little bit of bubbling across the white background and this little red painting. It was like somebody took a bite of the sandwich, it dropped on James and he just forgot to remove it. <laughs> but yeah, that's very disappointing that the quality control on this version is not good, but it's all right. Of course, he has his he has his headlights here, which look very really smudgy, especially on this right headlight. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, it's quite smudgy, which is kind of unfortunate. Yeah, it has this really nasty black outline. It looks like he. It looks like they whoever made his headlights because cause keep in mind these are stickers. These are not actual working headlights. I guess whoever did that forgot to like paint the um, outside of the head headlights, I'm not sure, but we have the 61 on the left headlight, again it's not really on the um, headlight entirely, it's a little bit above, but it's actually kind of it's kind of cool. Of course he does have black wheels, now one thing I am a little disappointed about this model specifically is that the wheels, axles for some reason, they are way too short, because if I put it under the base here, you can see that they don't even come to the, near the wheel wheel fender, whereas if you uh, if James was, God, what am I saying? Yeah. If James, if you were to get a made in China, James, it'd be, it look more like this here, where the tires do actually match to a fender here. So that is quite disappointing. I do wish they um used these to um put in there, but this we've been dealing with this for a long time since how it took over, so there's really nothing we can do about it. Now he has the number sixty one on the sides here. With his contingency sponsors being, I would say not bad. Like I've seen worse, but the physical logo, as you can see, is quite grainy alongside nitrate. Kind of looks like like AI generated. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, but the mood springs and no stall, gas it gets looks pretty good. Um, as of doing three, I can see that are actually decent. Now violin is on here again, which it's, it's a little weird. It's like they just copy and paste these ex exact number of sponsors on every other Pacific Cup racer, except for the King and Chick Eggs, but yeah, even like McQueen has that, so that's a little disappointing. I do wish they kind of, you know what, what's funny, like, I wish they actually showed something like Rusty, Rusty's on here, even Danica would be nice, but I don't know, I guess they didn't really think about that. We have his number 61 on the side, like I mentioned, and now James is a two-tone car, clearly, because he has white on the hood and his back, but green in the middle, which is pretty nice. We see this black outline near his window here. The number 61 on his hood, looking very smudgy as always. The window bars, which are painted green, and this violin logo, which act looks god awful. <laughs> looks like it's being thermal snapped away, especially the V here. I don't like that, but it's fine, I guess. We have this white spoiler on the back. Now, this is a much better violin logo, but yeah, you can see the green stripe. Here, which is pretty cool, and 61 on his left tail light, which is pretty nice. This side is pretty much the same. I, oh yeah, he actually does have the that same logo is on the hood on either side, because this side has the gas cap, whereas this one, this side does not. Here is the base. 
it does say S47A, so he's been in the 47th week of 2020. I think this might be 2023 at the A Factory, which would make sense because he was released in 2024 singles case C, I believe. And yeah, that about does it for James here. A very good pistol guy, so I do like his, his expression from Thailand, Thailand a lot more, but I wish the wheels were matched the fender. I do wish some of those decals were better. But I'm pretty sure this is just my copy. I'm, ho I'm hoping this is not on, like this on everyone's copy, but if it was, then that would suck majorly. Of course, let's zoom out a little bit and do some comparison. Now, the only other Thailand Pacific Racer of this model that I have is my Clutchburn, who I reviewed in the um, in the accessory two bag with him and Sage. So if you want to see it, link will be in the description below. Pretty cool, pretty cool. They both have black wheels. Both have like really poor decals. Although I will say though, James decals might actually look better than Murray's. Yeah, look at that. You like compare that mood spring leather to that. A violin looks, eh, they look equally better. Like, mood, spring is, mood springs are no style. They look really good. I, I'd say even the piston cup, they can actually read piston cup here on James, whereas on Murray you couldn't at all. Not sure it looks like AI generated slops or is that, but yeah, I would say. These look better than whatever the heck was going on in Murray here, but I will say I think I prefer Murray still because his decals actually look vibrant and those logos don't look as fuzzy. So that a little bit here, especially uh, I guess this one looks a little fuzzy, but not as bad as this. You catch a cold in my draft, beautiful. I love these logos on these colors and racers. Sad that a lot of, the, lot of them got rid of those logos from Cross 3, although some of them did keep it. Like, I think um, Violent was an example of. When I kept it slogan around, because we have Black Candy Man here, who I also reviewed, so I'll leave the link in the description below for him. Of course, this is the main China version here. He did get a Thailand release, I believe, in 2019, yeah, 2019 and then again in 2023, but yeah, I did not pick that up because I had this one, and I think this one's superior in every other way. I saw for the expression, maybe. Very cool. See, this is how a decal should be. Like, look at the hell. Jesus Christ. Look, look at that. And look at that. Oh my god. We've, we've really degraded with decals. Look at that. Clean, clean decal. The high waving mint beer moto. Yeah, this was one of my first 2018 releases I got, and I got them with the collectible as well, so it's pretty cool here. Pretty, pretty cool. Of course, Violent did continue on the course 3, but James Cleaner was replaced by Blake Yardley, who spoke in the movie alongside the next gen, Chase Racelet. Yeah, I, I don't know if at all. I really should get him because he actually spoke, but Chase Wesley is not a good one because he was actually voiced by real life NASCAR driver Chase Elliott. It's pretty cool. We're from Black to Green. 61 to 24 because that was Elliott's number in real life during the time of Course 3. Now, I do believe it is actually number 9, which another release of Chase did, did implement. And we'll get to that in a little bit. Yeah, I really like the ammo green they used on Chase and. If you don't mind damaged, I still have I still have a special place for it in my heart. Yeah, at least you get a replacement. Yeah, it's not he has not been released since 2022 in that two bag with Cam Spinner. So yeah, hopefully he gets another re-release soon. Because I do like him a lot. Of course, the violin logo is slightly announced with um straight. They did keep the for all the active cause on the next one though, so that's actually cool. Glad they kept it. Of course, he did get a release in the NASCAR line because of that connection to Chase Elliott. Unfortunately, very grainy too, but for different, different reasons because it's a Vietnam release. Yay, Vietnam! <sighs> they have worst decals in Thailand. Like, I swear, Thailand and Vietnam are just competing to see who has the worst decals at this point. Uh, hey, look at that, these are fuzzy, just like James. So, I guess James must have been made in Vietnam, and then they were like, oh shoot, this is a Thailand release. Uh, like, let's slip on the line. no one's gonna notice. <laughs> yeah, pretty cool. We have these silver wheels here. The sponsors are clearer. But you can see, you clearly obviously see the grain in here, which I don't like. But see the netting and the window, the number nine. So overall, a lot more NASCAR ties in this mine here, which I loved. If you don't mind a big NASCAR guy, but oh god, a spoiler looks, it actually looks worse than that. Oh my god, wow. Times like this, with Thailand, Thailand starting to match the quality of Vietnam. Even though I'd say Thailand is better than, them, than Vietnam by a long shot. But 
is whatever. I've also reviewed this Nazca variant, so link is in the description below if you want to check it out. And yeah, that about does it for the comparisons of James Cleaner. Thank you all so much for watching. Remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more upcoming content. See you all next time. Until then, this is Joe QuickTile signing out.